Hello, welcome back to my e-tutorial video. I am Shaji. In this video, I am going to discuss about some preprocessor derivative that is hash defined. So, the preprocessor derivative hash defined is used to define some constants in the program. Preprocessor derivative R not really belongs to the language. The variables, the values can be assigned using hash defined. Constants can be defined or it can be used for doing small functional operations. But that is being done even before compilation of the real program. The execution of the program, C program will begin with the, the function main. Preprocessor derivatives are processed prior to the real program coding. So the real program coding begins from the main but these preprocessor derivatives are processed prior to the main coding. Here in this program as usual we have some include files, the header files for the standard input output operations and for console input output operations codeo.h and stdio.h in this program. And we have used pi. So the value of pi is 22 by 7 and it is approximately 3.1. So I am going to use the value of pi in this program. But I don't want to refer it as 3.1. Because if I refer 3.1 in a program, in a bigger program, so there can be a chance of confusion. What is that 3.1 and all. But if it is mentioned as pi, it will be clear for me in the program. So I want to define a constant pi and I want to supply the value for pi. So this value of the pi, once it if, if it is defined like this, it is not possible to change within this uh, called area. Okay, and we have one more define. Okay, this define we will uh, see later. Okay, first of all, just consider this pi. The value of pi will be considered as 3.1 in this program coding. Okay, in the main program, one integer variable is declared. The name of that variable is R. So here the screen got cleared and it is asking the user to enter the radius of a circle. And uh, scan of percentage D uh, percent R. It is used to read the value of R. Radius. Value of the radius of a circle. And the value will be stored in the variable R. Print of and after reading this value, we are going to calculate the radius. So that is not the radius. We got the radius. We want the um, area of a square. That is pi r square. So for calculating that value, we can pi multiplied by. So we have the value pi here. The value which is assigned uh, to pi is 3.1 pi into r into r that is pi r square ok here we are going to print the area of the circle with radius percentage d ok the, with the radius r is percentage f because it is going to give a floating point, point value the pi is pi got a value 3.1 that is that itself is a floating point value when you multiply a floating point value with a integer value most probably we will be getting uh, fractional values point decimal uh, values with the decimal fractions so I want to use percentage f for the exact value so if you run this program by pressing control of 9 it's asking me for the radius of okay, 3 so if I am giving 3 3 square that is going to be 9 3 into 3 is 9 then 9 into 3.1 it is going to be 9 into 3 27 and something ok 27.9 is the area of the circle with radius 3. So this is what I wanted to do with this program. So the value of pi is defined one place in the program and wherever I want I can use it the value of pi throughout the program. I suppose this is quite simple. This is just like assigning a value to a variable. So usually in C language we will assign like 
pi equal to 3.1 but this is preprocessor derivative there is no need to give pi equal to or there is no need of semicolon at the end because this is not using the syntax of C language this is going to be processed prior to the main call or this pi will be replaced with this value 3.1 before the main is being executed ok let us see what is the next part of this define define square x then x star x so if you want to calculate the square of a number that is that number into that number ok this is a this is another preprocessor -pro derivative defined which is used to find the square it is having a functionality of a function even then it is a preprocessor -pro derivative so the value of x that we can supply dynamically and that value will be uh, that that value of x will be multiplied by the, by itself and uh, that value will be replaced here and we can find the square so in this program we can use it by of course we have pi into square of r so that means r into r ok s q square square of r r into r that will be multiplied and that will be multiplied with pi and that value is going to be supplied so the program let us try it out it is asking for the radius ok the same value it is getting there is no difference so whether you are uh, giving directly or if you are using a preprocessor derivative there is no difference in this if you want to see more about the preprocessor derivative ok let me uh, do some changes in the program enter uh, a number percentage a so in this program I am trying to find which value is greater you can enter two values when, uh, when this program is being executed and ok let me give uh, give it together and the two numbers and the two numbers uh, percentage d percentage d comma ampersand b it is going to read to values so here what I want to print is the large largest out of so in this program I am going to find which number is bigger out of these two numbers the largest out of the out of ok percentage d and percentage d is percentage d so here I can use a comma b and here I wanted to calculate the percentage even for this I can use a preprocessor derivative but that preprocessor derivative I have to define as define by using as define I have to define it so here I can give uh, big um, big a comma b big a comma b but I have to define it here as define big x comma y x greater than y this I can use shortcut if here x greater than y then x is greater than y else y ok so in this case 
the big will return will have a value of x if x is greater else the y that means if y is greater so by using as defined we can find the largest out of two numbers using this technique let me run this program and see no left nine and the two numbers i am going to enter two and five so out of the largest out of two and five is five okay it's working properly let me try the other possibility i am going to give nine and five this time the largest out of nine and five is nine okay that's right okay this is the way of using as defined the preprocessor derivatives in c program so these programs this one as well as the previous one for calculating the square and all programs are simple and uh, i suppose you might have followed this program and please try out this program and if you have any doubt please feel free to contact me my email id is it_teacher1@yahoo.com thank you for watching this video bye for now